Hiya, we're Groovy147 and we've chose Car, Rock, Car Raps Hard Rock Children oh, for our music video. So we've created a music video, we've also created two ancillary products, a digipack for our album and a magazine advert to advertise our album and music video. Uh, we researched into similar videos with the same genre and we found that a lot of them tied in lyrics with visuals. So we decided that was a good idea because we wanted to like draw in the audience as much as we could. And, take note from different videos as well to show that we'd understood the genre so like in the line when I go to the bank we had Steve outside Lloyd's TSB to communicate that that's where he was sort of thing to... uh, The music and uh, the visual relationship uh, was quite a strong concept in our music video. Uh, we used it quite a lot because also like the lyrics, the visuals, it was used in quite a lot of other rap videos as well and uh, we did that on our research. Um, so, for example, when a certain particular beat, a distinctive one kicks in, we might change the shot, um, or if a special sound effect, we might change the, the shot to that as well. Uh, we did a lot of research into locations that follow the hip-hop rap genre, and we decided on choosing something that the audience would recognise as being the conventions. So we followed basically the rules of the basketball court, the uh, empty car park and the street corners and stuff like that to just make sure the audience recognised. Yeah, we feel that like our, our products were so strong was because we took note of the colour scheme that we used and for example like the red, white and blue on the, the iconic basketball that we included in our video and the, the red vest that we got Steve to dress in specifically for the video, kind of tied all the packages together because they all use the same sort of theme throughout. The concept we were trying to communicate came from the lyric, came from basically the title Hard Not Children by Kyle Raps. Um, we thought about what, what Hard Not Children do throughout like what they do in college and what they do in school and what they do outside of school. We felt that basketball really did seem like a good way to go. We felt like street corners and skate parks, that's just where they hang out during the, and after the after school and stuff like that. So it just felt yeah, we just roll with it. It was common. It was common within uh, other genres, and we just felt it suited suited us so well. We tried to create um, a concept of a character that's quite cool and laid back, and doesn't really have any social control. So basically, following the conventions of normal rappers. Yeah, and our target audience was uh, teenage males, thirteen to eighteen, um, basically because most of them really dislike school and like hip hop rap music. So. Um, I feel that the song, the image of the artist and the free ancillary products will definitely attract um, this audience because like Carl Raps the artist, he's a pretty cool guy. We feel yeah, our initial pitch has not really changed that much but any changes that we have made have all been down to the feedback that we got from like teachers and our peers. Our initial idea for the pitch was to shoot in urban locations and have the artist walking and rapping which the audience received well and really enjoyed it. We had to make, they did mention that we had to make sure it wasn't too boring and make sure it engaged the audience throughout. So they did comment on using cutaways and we felt that was a really helpful comment throughout the whole of our project. They also approved of the themes of basketball and just hanging about on street corners and that. They really felt that it was going to be a strong theme running throughout the whole of the video and the whole of our products. Uh, after taking on board all of the feedback for our rough cut, uh, we decided on trying to find more cutaways and locations just to break up our film a little bit more, as well as fixing some of the uh, sinking at the end of the footage as we decided it wasn't as strong as the footage at the beginning. Before we uploaded our music video, we had one final lot of feedback which was basically use some more colour fillers and uh, colour corrector, which we did on final cut and uh, it really just uh, made the products look more urban and, uh, I don't know... More professional, you know, um, to industry standard. Look. We definitely feel that feedback, that feedback we received throughout the whole of the project made our product what it was. Um, it basically allowed us to progress from our initial pitch to a quality, professional, industry standard video that we feel really suited the theme we, and the theme and the idea that we wanted to create. Um, we have to sort of realise and sort of taking into consideration that the feedback we were getting was from the target audience that we wanted to aim it at. So we had to really take this into consideration that it was vital, basically. Yeah. It made our product what it was. Yeah, one of the most important parts of the success of our 
products was the research and the planning that we did. Um, the internet allowed us to research into professional products by real music videos from other artists and we also got to use a wide variety of media technologies, for example the HD cameras which gave us excellent picture quality, well we feel anyway. But we're using it now, so yeah. what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> we'll be the judge. <laughs> um, yeah, we used a tripod for our most of the, um, the footage really and I think if we didn't do that we risked uh, becoming pretty unprofessional and quite poor. Uh, Final Cut was a programme we used to edit and um, bring all our footage together and put it all into place in the right place at the right time that we wanted. Um, it was pretty, we've used it before, it was pretty simple. Basically, it allowed us to edit within many seconds of the lyrics to make sure that it, the lip syncing was as perfect as we could make it, basically. We edited in layers, which um, basically meant that all the, all the footage from the same lyrics were running simultaneously under each other, and we basically just flicked through them all and chose the right one for the right part of the song that we wanted. It really just made it just so much more simpler to edit, and it was great. We were also able to add colour filters and colour correctors to create a greater urban effect, uh, which was recommended by the feedback we collected and definitely enhanced our video. We used uh, Photoshop to create our ancillary products, which was a pretty um, piece of software that we were pretty unfamiliar with, really. Um, so the effects that we discovered and used were mainly 3D effects on the images, particularly on the ball of uh, on, on our magazine advert. We brightened up our colours, we brightened up the fonts, just to make it look stand look stand out in the, if it was sold in a shop, really. Blogger was very important for our project. It meant the whole group could constantly update and report their feedback and research onto the blog, and we could all see it. Um, the communication allowed us to plan well and could it gave each other ideas. So we could all just share our ideas on the blog and then when we came to lesson and constructed it, we used everyone's ideas. Um, I don't think technology really came in the way of our creativity um, because even though we were uploading things onto Blogger, which is sort of a Word document style um, internet source, uh, even if we wanted to draw pictures we could just use still cameras, take the picture and then upload it to look at it later. This is Carl Raps, so see you later kids. <laughs>